Hey, it's Rebecca with Ray Nail Studio, and today we're just doing another set of nails. This is what I did for one of my friends. It is just a natural nail overlay, and we did do a soak off. She had a full set on for about seven to eight weeks, so her nails grew out very nicely. They're nice, strong, and healthy. And I'm going in with my 180 file by McCart. This is one of my favorite files, one of the only files that I actually use. And you can get it in my Amazon list that I have down in my description box. So be sure to check that out as all the items I'm using in this video will be in that list. After shaping and filing, I am pushing back the cuticles to begin the prep and I'm going in with my needle bit just to get rid of the dry skin and the leftover acrylic from the soak off. This is my favorite bit to use just for the simple fact that it really helps get up a lot of that dead skin and also it gets into the sidewalls very well. I only use this around the cuticle area and I make sure to use it as flush to the nail as possible. Using my Melody Susie e-file, I'm going in with a 180 grit sanding band from Pana. I love these sanding bands because they are very well put together, they're durable, and they are affordable. So make sure that you get you some, let me know how you like them. They are listed in my Amazon list that is in my description box. Also one thing to remember is that when you are doing this part, Using an e-file, you want to make sure that you're at a low speed. So I personally stay at 3 or 4 RPM just to make sure I don't overfile or cause any discomfort to my client. You want to make sure that you're not damaging the natural nail. You're just trying to make sure that you get that shine off and smooth anything that may be left over on the nail plate. After dusting off the nails just to see where we are, I go in with this ball bit. This is also a cuticle bit and it just helps push up the skin just so you can see where you need to nip. And as I said in pre previous videos, you want to make sure that your nippers are sharp and good quality so that you're not tearing at the skin. You want to be able just to cut through that dead skin opposed to pulling it and tearing it off, causing any openings in the eponychium which can lead to infection.
nail swipe and a manicure brush I'm just cleansing off the nails to get rid of any additional dust and then I folded up my table towel to eliminate any exposure to the dust that was on my table because as you guys know people like to move around a lot and you want to make sure that you have the nail as clean and free of debris as possible The brush I'm using today is the number no. 9 Oval Kalinsky from Alpha Brush. Um, I do love this company. I have a lot of their brushes in my nail drawer just because they are affordable and they're really good quality. Also they have super fast shipping so if you haven't already make sure that you check them out. When doing an acrylic overlay you want to make sure that you cover the entire basis of the nail as you can see here I started with a one ball method but I eventually just went ahead and just added acrylic where I needed to I wanted to always make sure that I covered the free edge just to avoid there being any separation between the natural nail and the acrylic which can cause breakage or you can get water under there and then you'll get a greenie nobody likes those so I'm just making sure to cover everything and get everything nice and even.
Before placing the stones and charms, I did go ahead and do my top coat first, just to avoid the nail looking, you know, junky and bulky. I still wanted to have a smooth effect. So that's what I'm doing here now. I'm wiping off that sticky layer just so that we don't get any lint or anything sticking around after we apply the stones and charms. The polish color that she chose was Creme de Nude by Kiara Sky, number D431. And I love the way that this color came out with her skin tone. I went ahead and added some stones, some 3D hearts, and 3D moons. And just one word of advice I'm going to give for you guys today is just to make sure that all of the items in your nail drawer are up to date and make sure that, you know, you're keeping up with what works and doesn't work. Because these stones are so thick and heavy I did go ahead and use a hard builder gel which I don't know if it was is expired or if it's just not a good quality gel but this the charms came off the next morning so stuff like this happens often just make sure that you handle your clients professionally ask them what you can do to make up for the error or refund them their money you know just make it worth both of your while um, but like I said, just make sure that everything is up to date. Make sure that you know all the processes for every type of nail supply that you have. What I'm using for the stones is the Mia Secret Gel Resin and Gel Resin Activator. I do like this product duo. The spray is very strong though, so when you're using it, just keep that in mind. Since you're in close proximity, it can be easy to inhale this and we don't want that. So just keep that in mind when you're using this product. that's it for today's process of nails if you guys have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comments make sure that you check out my description box as there's many helpful links there you also need to subscribe because we're almost at 5k which means we are doing a giveaway and this friend here says she's gonna win the giveaway so you guys better make sure you have on those post notifications and you're staying up to speed with everything that's happening here at Raynail Studio Again, my name is Rebecca and I hope to see you soon.